Hello everyone. Welcome to my new episode. Today I am going to prepare a very familiar dish. Especially we used to make it. We make sometimes in the rainy season. That is called crepe shak shak. You know the crepes in my village. Plenty of crepes are available. That is called mud crepes. Black one. These are the mud crepes which are available in my village. Sometimes we go to catch the crepes. Especially when there is a low tide. When there is no water, they climbs up in the field. When there is a water or high tide, and when the water goes down, they remains on the field. We used to go to catch the crabs very often. You won't believe it. One day we went to catch the crabs. There was a big problem. One of my friend, he caught the crab in one shell, one claws, and <laughs> when the the second claws bite to his finger. He had just come from Bombay, and he is uh, doesn't know to how to catch the crab. So he, we were catching. So he also put the hand. So he just lifted the cra hand, a uh, crab up, hand up. The other claws ca caught his lips, <laughs> and he got very bad cut. So you have to be very careful when they when you catch the crabs. Very careful. You should know how to catch the crabs. Others very difficult. I've taken the fresh crabs, wash it well, and cut it into four pieces of one crab. I'll just apply the salt to it and keep it for some time. I'll take the one teaspoon of crab, a uh, salt, and mix it well. I'll let it get. Marinate it for some time with the salt. I'll take the some chilies, say about four five to four five chilies. I've taken about five nama small crabs, not the large one. One cinnamon stick, four five nama of green cardamom, four five nama of cloves, half teaspoons of cumin seeds, one tablespoon of coriander seeds. And little bit of nutmeg, piece. This what I'll take it and just roast it with grated coconuts in it, and roast it till it becomes brown in color, light brown in color. When it bra get brown in color, just remove it from the fire and let it get cool for some time. Once it get cool, you put in the blender or mixer and mix it well. Very fine. It should not be very fine paste. It's just thick paste. So you grind till it becomes like this paste. So you take almost two cups of tea cups of grated coconut to it, and remove it from the blender, the paste, and keep it on the side. This is the paste. What we get it after grinding. I'll just keep the frying pan, a uh, saucepan, on the fire. Actually, you should know when you go in the market even how to buy the crabs. The crabs you should not go to buy the crabs very fat one or big one. You should you should buy it the middle uh, medium size. The crab should be heavy in weight. So that there's a full of flesh inside, and if the crab is not heavy, that means it's not that good crabs. You have to be very careful when you are buying, and the crab should be very fresh. That's the taste you get it when you cook the food or cook the crabs. So you have to be very careful when you are buying the crabs. Now what I'll do it, I'll put a just vegetable oil in it, or you can use coconut oil in it. Say about two, three spoons of oil, and one number big onion in it. Chop onion and saute it till it becomes light brown in color. Then you add the crabs to it, and we have to add the masala to it and cook it. That's all. See, onions are almost. Brown in light brown in color. Now what I'll do it, I'll take the crabs, 
marinated crepes, salt it and add it to it. And just mix it. You saute it till it becomes light pinkish in color so that the color will be nice when you cook the crepes. Otherwise you can add also masala first then you add the crepes but you will not get the nice pink color first. I'll let it get cooked for some time. Once it's cooked then you will add the masala to it. I'll just put the cover for two three minutes. See when you cover it the steam doesn't go out so it cooks faster otherwise if you keep it open the steam goes out you don't get direct flame for the uh, stuff for the mas uh, for the crepes you will not get it i'll take the ground masala which i've shown you all the ingredients which are gone for this all garlic ginger red chilies cloves cinnamon green cardamom uh, dry coriander and turmeric powder all this ground after grinding you i said you will get this masala so i am adding this masala to it now and the gravy of this masala should not be thin it should be thick always shak shak should be thick not that thin gravy should be thick i'll just cover it and keep it for some time to cook let it get cook for about 10 to 10 to 15 minutes it takes little time because these are the shell crepes so to get the crepes cook it takes little time so i'll just keep it for 15 minutes more crepes are almost cook now what i'll do it i'll just mix it up see it's become thick also gravy crepes are ready almost now what i'll do it i'll just add two teaspoons of turmeric uh, tamarind pulp see just i put two tablespoon of tamarind pulp to get little sourness taste to the masala and two tablespoon of coconut milk to it yes. and I'll mix it up well now I'll finish it with two tablespoon of fresh coriander in it I'll just remove it in the serving dish serve it with either you can eat it with rice or you can eat with the guan bread now i'll just put a little coriander on top Crepes are ready. Now, crepes shake shake is ready to serve. Thank you very much for watching this preparation of crepe shake shake and i hope you will like it and you will try your this recipe at home so that i can get the good comments from you thank you very much and please subscribe to my channel for the next episode thank you very much mm -hmm.